I told myself I wasn't going to do this ever again. But if I were to do it again, it would be a red carpet extravaganza. We're gonna go all out. And it's gonna be stuff that there's proof that they've actually worn. So uh, I did it. There's a website called Kardashian Closet where you can literally shop all of their closets. Some of the items on there are just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, probably not for them, but for a peasant like me. When I went back for the second time though, most of it was on sale, so. Despite that though, I still managed to spend the same amount of money as I did last time. No, wait, I spent more. This sketchy looking package is something really special. <laughs> You'll see later in the video. I think this is the first time Tyler has ever gotten angry at me over a purchase I made for a YouTube video. <laughs> Lay fetch the scissors. Okay. Here we go. By the way, if you haven't turned on notifications, make sure to do that so you don't miss out on future videos. Oh, and feel free. Oh gosh. Oh, I probably shouldn't be stabbing this. To share this with a friend that loves the Kardashians or that hates the Kardashians. Whew. Okay. <gasps> Listen, if I didn't get a free t-shirt this time, I have words to have with the Kardashians. I don't see a note this time either. I was so excited to get a note from Cece, now that I actually know who she is. I did learn that Cece is a cousin to the Kardashians and she, throughout the years, has run quite a few of their different stores. And now she's in charge of Kardashian Closet. So the fact that an actual family member runs the business does add some legitimacy to it, but it still doesn't prove that they didn't just like find a bunch of random designer items at a good price and throw them up on the site saying that they're Kardashian items. Like why is 80% of the site new with tag stuff that they've never been seen in. I don't know, but I do have a new conspiracy with photographic proof of something that I think is going on. I'll show you in a minute. By the way, just by the fact that I spent $3,000 again, it was still $13.95 in shipping. <sighs> We're gonna start with this. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh, okay. Mom just fell in the pool. Honestly, I was kind of bummed that I didn't shop Chris's closet last time, so today's the day. This, you guys, Alexander McQueen is my favorite designer. My favorite designer that I don't own anything of because it's so expensive. It's completely see-through, so I don't really know how I'd style it, so I talked myself out of that. I'm actually very glad I did because then I came across this picture of Chris actually wearing it, and it kind of looks ridiculous. <laughs> okay, this was a front runner. This is absolutely beautiful. Confirmed that she's actually worn this one too. This is literally like the only thing on the site that has this as seen on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, which is so weird to me. That one was pretty, but don't you worry, I found something even better. Here it is. Oh my goodness. It's a little lighter weight than I thought it would be. I was expecting this to have some weight to it, but this is an Alexander McQueen dress. It was on sale for $2,000. <laughs> it is just so beautiful. Something I saw a lot of last time is people wondering if this is a total scam. Like, are these just knockoff items? I'm gonna say this is an actual Alexander McQueen dress because A, that would be super illegal <laughs> for them to be selling knockoffs. It definitely feels like the real designer item. Okay, Leo, as official co-host of this channel, I'm going to need you to match my energy on this. Well, can you do that? I got this for you. <laughs> wow! <gasps> Lee! <laughs> you look so handsome. Here we go. There's also what looks to be some tiny little makeup or self tan streaks on it, but of course I get it. It happens. Did you know you can find the Kardashians measurements on the internet? <laughs> Supposedly Chris is 5'6 and our measurements are actually quite similar other than her hips are a little smaller than mine. So we'll see how this dress fits because I'm assuming it was like tailored to fit her. Why does it fit so good? Wait, I feel like I'm about to get married though. Kris Jenner, if you ever wanna swap clothes. <laughs> that sparkle detail, I don't know, I can't tell. Is it more wedding dress or more mother of the bride? Fun fact, I've never actually watched a full episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I know some of you have though, like someone commented this to be able to just pull that information out. I'm impressed by that. Like it is kind of cool to say this was a Kardashian's outfit, but really I totally agree. They're just people, people worth 
billions of dollars. <laughs> so I couldn't find this exact dress, but I did find some like similar dresses by this designer and they're all going for $35 or $4,500 on resale sites and discount designer places. It sounds silly, <laughs> but this isn't a bad deal for this dress. A comment that I did see come up a lot on the last video though is why don't they just donate this stuff? I don't know. I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> I actually found some really cool organizations that take nice formal dresses like this and they gift them to like people with special needs or maybe that are financially struggling so that they have something pretty to wear to prom or some sort of formal event. That's where these are gonna go after this. <laughs> a girl's gonna show up to her prom in a Kardashian dress and not even know it. Next. I'm Kendall Jenner. I got a okay, Kendall was really lacking in the gown department, which was super disappointing to me because <laughs> she's probably gone to just as many red carpet and fashion events as anyone in the family. Like there's this kind of weird silky pink outfit with this gold mini skirt. But I did find something. There's no way there's a dress in here. This feels so flimsy. Ta-da. Wow. Yeah, there's really not a lot to this. <laughs> this is a Gianni Versace dress. It was $5.95. It was hard to find anything that's meshy like this, but other Gianni Versace floral dresses go for anywhere from $500 to thousands of dollars. Size 42, what does that mean? Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get this on. All right, so Kendall Jenner is teeny tiny itty bitty. I'm gonna be flabbergasted if this dress fits me is what I'm trying to say. Oh no. Ah! Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> oh, well, it was a good try. Well, I'm probably not gonna donate this one because it's like the least formal out of all of the ones from this haul. So I'm just, I'm gonna give it to one of you guys. If you are like an extra small, and want this beautiful Versace dress, let me know. A popular assumption about this stuff is that it's just all stuff that they've been sent for free and they're now reselling it to make a profit. I don't know, I wonder that too, but I feel like if that's what they were doing, they would get called out by designers more often. They have. They have. <laughs> Coming from someone that does also get sent free stuff, it's not like illegal to do that. Like usually you don't have to sign a contract or anything saying you won't, but it's just kind of like the right thing to do to not turn around and sell it. But there were definitely a couple of dresses from this designer in Kendall's closet and it's like confirmed that she's been in a couple runway shows for that. So there is a good chance she got some dresses for free from them. Is it this one that's on Kardashian closet? We may never know. Kylie Jenner to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. Oh my gosh, Kylie's closet. I found this little yellow dress. It just didn't feel like red carpet enough to me though. And it's new with tags, so I doubt she's actually worn it. Okay, these two dresses. Once again, new with tags, no proof or pictures that she's worn either of them, but these were at the top of my list. $3,000 and $4,000, but for the video, I should just do it, right? Wow. Oh, this is nice. The designer of this one is Rick Owens. It looks like dresses that are kind of similar to this one on a site go for like $1,000, $1,200. This one was $450. So naturally I went through a rigorous Googling process to try to find photos of all these people wearing these dresses. And Kylie does have a photo on her Instagram of this dress, but it's not her wearing it. So there's a bunch of these photos of her and a friend. The friend is wearing this black dress and then she's wearing a gray version, which actually at one point was on sale on the site. So my theory is it might not just be the Kardashian stuff. Like who's to say Cece doesn't throw some of her stuff up on there and their friends don't throw some of their stuff up on there. I mean, they could have both been Kylie's dresses and she was like, here, hey, wear this for a picture with me. They do have an entire like miscellaneous section. I just have so many questions still though. Like this, for example, why are there two of the exact same dress in two different sizes with tags? Do the Kardashians have like personal shoppers that maybe bought them these dresses and they're like, oh yeah, I love that. Throw it in my closet. And then they just never wore it. I need to know. Dang, this dress looks long. Kylie's a little bit shorter than me, but our measurements are probably the most similar. Her waist is just a little smaller than mine, I think. Is there even a zipper on this thing? Well, wish me luck. Okay. Can't find the hole my head's supposed to go through. Ooh, it's working. Now where do I come out? Oh, please be right, please be right. These little slits just kind of freak me out. Live a life on the edge, okay. It's a lot more fitted right here than I think it's meant to be. <laughs> the side and the back are actually so pretty. I love that. And then 
the little tie in the back of the top. It's just crazy, like this nice of a dress. Just for an Insta pic. <laughs> crazy. Don't be so rude. Are you kidding me? Back to the conversation on why don't they just donate this stuff. They actually used to. I found this out from one of you that bought one of their things in the past. They didn't donate the actual clothes, but when they would sell clothes like this, they would then donate the proceeds to a charity. So I took my little bum over to eBay. <laughs> Tyler was so mad at me. And I found two dresses worn by Kim Kardashian at events with like actual pictures of her in that dress. I put an offer in on one of them. $2,500 and I was like, oh, I'll just like, pfft. I don't know, I'll put like 1500 and see what happens. Thinking like I'm offering $1,000 less, there's no way they're gonna accept it five minutes later. Accepted. So that's why Tyler's mad at me. <laughs> he was like, hope they shouldn't have accepted that offer that fast. You either just got scammed or yeah, I, I, I might have just got scammed. But supposedly, this is supposed to come with like a number and a letter signed by Kim. We're gonna find out. So anyway, this dress is back from the reveal of her wax figure at the wax museum. And then later on, they had an auction for it and all of the proceeds went to a charity. How am I supposed to open this? This is the weirdest wrapping job. Brown paper with like saran wrap and then taped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? I don't even see an opening. <gasps> A package within another package. Ooh, what do we wanna open first? The dress or whatever's in the envelope? It's this little thing so it doesn't crumple. Okay, <gasps> I'm scared. Congratulations, I'm thrilled you won one of my items from Kim's Closet Auction on eBay. I personally donated everything with my name on it in the title. A percent of the proceeds from this and all of my auctions will go to my favorite charity, The Dream Foundation. A really wonderful organization that grants wishes to terminally ill adults. Hope you enjoy your item. Signed, Kim. I don't think this is actually signed by her though. I just, I think it's just printed. Okay, here it is. Wow. Oh, this is pretty. Herb Ledger is the designer. And then it has this tiny little tag that says Kim823. Okay, let's try this on. I really hope this fits. Okay, supposedly Kim's measurements are also pretty similar to mine. This article that I found with these in it though is actually really recent, like a week old. And it said, Kim said her weight fluctuated 18 pounds last year. Literally same. <laughs> this dress is a couple years old, so I'm not really sure what her measurements were then, but. This dress almost didn't fit my hips. Like if my bum is confirmed bigger than Kim's, where's my check? Like. <laughs> Okay, what if it rips? I'm about to let it go. Are you sure? Yeah, please don't zip my skin. It's like Lean forward. literally one of my biggest irrational fears. Lean <gasps> it's on? Oh, yeah. It's on all the way. Oh my gosh. I actually love it. How many dresses does Kim do the same thing with? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <gasps> it's ripping. Kim did it with her boobs. Probably because like I I almost don't fill it out all the way. <laughs> Fun fact about this wax figure that they made of her, when she showed up and saw it, she literally said she wished the butt was bigger. <laughs> she felt like it was not a realistic representation. Overall, is this stuff worth buying? I mean, if you're a huge Kardashian fan and have some cash to burn, absolutely. Really, with most of the stuff, you can always find something cheaper. If you don't care about the brand name, there are plenty of brands that have beautiful gowns for much, much more affordable prices. And with that, there was only one thing left to do, return the dress to its place of origin, the wax museum. Unfortunately, Kim was not there. Chloe was the only Kardashian there, but I told her to give Kim my best. Make sure to check out my other Kardashian clothing haul if you missed that one. And we will see you guys in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.